Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Schultz. Today we have another Chinese fairy tale. This one is a story of wits and intelligence. And honestly, I like it. It's fun. This is the Three Rhymesters. Once there were three daughters in a family. The oldest one married a physician. The second one married a magistrate. But the third, who was more than usually intelligent and a clever talker, married a farmer. Now it chanced upon a time that their parents were celebrating a birthday. So the three daughters came together with their husbands to wish them long life and happiness. The parents-in-law prepared a meal for their three sons-in-law and put the birthday wine on the table. But the oldest son-in-law, who knew that the third one had not attended school, wanted to embarrass him. It is far too tiresome, said he, to just sit here drinking. Let us have a drinking game. Each of us must invent a verse, one that rhymes and makes sense on the words in the sky, on the earth, at the table, in the room. And whoever cannot do so must empty three glasses as a punishment. All the company were satisfied. Only the third son-in-law felt embarrassed and insisted on leaving. But the guests would not let him go and obliged him to keep his seat. Then the oldest son-in-law began. I will make a start with my verse. Here it is. In the sky the phoenix proudly flies. On the earth the lambkin tamely lies. At the table, through an ancient book I weighed, in the room I softly call the maid. The second one continued. And I say, in the sky the turtle dove flies round, on the earth the ox paws up the ground. At the table one studies the deeds of yore, in the room the maid sweeps the floor. But the third son-in-law stuttered and found nothing to say. And... When all of them insisted, he broke out in rough tones of voice. In the sky flies a leaden bullet. On the earth stalks a tiger beast. On the table lies a pair of scissors. In the room, I, I call the stable boy. The other two sons-in-law clapped their hands and began to laugh loudly. Why? The four lines do not rhyme at all, said they, and besides, they do not make sense. A leaden bullet is no bird. The stable boy does his work outside. Would you call him into the room? Nonsense, nonsense, drink! Yet before they had finished speaking, the third daughter raised the curtain of the woman's room and stepped out. She was angry, yet she could not suppress a smile. How so do our lines not make sense, said she. This in a moment, and I'll explain them to you. In the sky, our leaden bullet will shoot your phoenix and your turtle dove. On the earth, our tiger beast will devour your sheep and your ox. On the table, our pair of scissors will cut up all of your old books. And finally, in the room, while the stable boy can marry your maid. Then the oldest son-in-law said, Well scolded, sister-in-law, you know how to talk. If you were a man, you would have had your degree long ago. And as a punishment, we will empty our three glasses. And that is The Three Rhymesters, another Chinese folktale and one that praises quick wit, thought, and speech. And also praises a daughter, which is rare. This is Dan Scholes for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you'd like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere that you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget that you can help support the podcast by heading over to patreon.com slash folktaleproject, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to every story told. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>